The following opening has been cryptonified to avoid any copyright claims. A Twitter link below is provided to see it in its full glory. Enjoy the viewing. Welcome viewers, Crouton's on with another Smasher Breakdown, starring character number 21, Marth and his Echo Fighter, Lucina. How y'all doing? I'm doing just as usual, just very depressed and in constant pain because this is what life is as a whole. Some happiness, but mostly sadness. Marth and Lucina. Marth is Lucina in Fire Emblem Awakening, who is the daughter of Krom, disguising herself as Marth, and now she's Marth's Echo Fighter, which makes no sense, since Lucina was taught by Krom, who is a descendant of Marth, meaning Lucina is also partly Marth, yet Krom is not an Echo Fighter of Marth or Lucina. That's dumb. We all know them for famous and infamous reasons. I mean, Marth is famous and loved by everyone, but Lucina is the infamous part of the spectrum. She kind of started the whole too many Fire Emblem characters debacle, you know? Roy got added in later in Smash 4 Wii U, and now everyone hates the franchise because of that. And later Chrome was finally added in. We now have three Fire Emblem Awakening characters. It took three tries to get the one that mattered most, so congratulations. Also, I'll stop the Martha Lucina and Lucina as Marth joke now. Unnecessary and pointless controversy aside, Martha and Lucina are pretty alright characters to play, you know? They just do their swingy sword moves and it deals damage to the enemy and it's, uh... Fun? I'll be honest, I feel as though they don't do anything all that cool, you know? It's not the kind of character that expresses my fun, but hey, if you like him, good on you! The great side about these characters is that you know when you get to Elite Smash, because the game you play before getting to Elite Smash is either against a Lucina or a Palutena. I got cocked to Elite Smash 10 times by those two assholes. I like my women just like Marth. Pantless. But I also like him just like Lucina. Without a dad. Because there's only one person they can call daddy. And that's me. And that was dark. We like to make fun of Simon and Richter mains having long ass jail times because they keep raping their B buttons. But Marth is fine even though he does worse to his A button? What kind of sense does that make? Oh, and let's not forget about the other victims here being X and Y. Marth and Lucina's always use their aerials and tilts. And I can't necessarily blame them because it's the best they got. They're your best damage dealer and they cover zones pretty well, meaning that you're at a safe distance from the enemy's attacks. Forward air and up tilt are what you're gonna use most. Forward air for your combo game and up tilt because it's good. It's just very good. I would say it's because of its range, damage and knockback, but that would go for every move. Back air is the way you get kills. It has a lot of knockback and it makes you face the other way once you use it, which is something I didn't know beforehand. Now look at this. This is the Falch Zion, because wherever you are in there, you'll always get hit by the Falchion. Don't get into my zone, don't get into my zone, don't get into my zone, don't get into my zone. See that? That's my Falchion. Falchion. Fuck. The one thing to keep in mind is that all your moves have a lot of end lag, aside from your forward air. So you want to make sure you're in range to hit your attack. Also, their combo game is not the greatest. Uh, of course you can do stuffs, but they're not as quick as someone like Sheik, for example. I know this was against the computer, but he was level 8, and most importantly, it was sick! As I was saying, you can do combos, but they're not gonna be longer than 5 hits. Which makes sense, since these two already deal enough damage with one attack as is. 
I mean, each attack is roughly around the 9% mark, making it 11 hits to get your opponent in the no-no percentages. So there's not much of a reason to complain here. Just attack them till they're high enough and back air or side smash. Avoid using up smash cause that move is absolute stupidity and I can't believe they put that shit on the luminary. For something luminar, you could say it wasn't the brightest idea. <laughs> Uh, pause here. Uh, that move ain't that bad. I'm actually surprised by how many times I landed it. I realized that there's a little hitbox that makes the move connect into the upward thrust. So yeah, um, it's good. Use it more. There's just this one move though that I just cannot get behind. The down air. I can't spike as commonly as a character like Mario. The hitbox just doesn't work for me. But once you get that sweet spot and they go flying down, it's beautiful. Fuck! Come on this time. Fuck! Come on. Come on. Yes! Let's go! Woo! Subscribe! <clears throat> As I was saying, these characters cover a lot of range and deal quite a good amount of damage, which is why their aerials are so good. And if you have good aerials, you know what else you have? Really good edge guarding. These guys are monsters when it comes to guarding the ledge. It's really hard to recover. I don't think there's a character easier than them to edge guard. Oh, you'll have your time. You're next. Forward air is just that good. I can't stress it enough when I say that. Of course, Marth has counters. He is gonna get fucked by projectile heavy characters. I have this replay against Dickhead James over here. And look at this shit. Look at this lame ass fucker. All he does is grab, go to the other side of the stage, and spam his B button. Just fuck off. I will never understand why people play online like this, but this is just lame. Of course I won cause I never lose, but he was a piece of shit nonetheless, and that's why I still have my virginity, cause I never lose. Woo! Lucina? Luchina. If the president of China is somehow watching this, I'm horribly sorry, just please don't kill me. Wait, that, that's it for the majority of the gameplay section? Well, that's fine, since you never use your specials. Aside from your recovery and counter, there's no point. They're either too slow, or there's just a better option. Shieldbreaker is not always a good move due to its charge time. Like, no one's gonna stand there holding shield for a good two seconds. Unless you wanted to spot dodge, but it didn't come out in time and therefore you're getting punished. I never use it. Although granted, this move is really satisfying when you break a shield, it does more than 20% when fully charged, and it gives some horizontal momentum in the air, it's still very rare to use it. Just know that Lucina's neutral B is stronger than Marth's. If you want to punish as Marth, forward smash with the tipper is a better option. And while well, side special has its uses, but... Eh, it's an okay move. I like to use it because it looks cool. I don't think many people use it. It can help poke the opponent from a distance. I use down combo a lot, if not all the time. But let's talk about this shit. That's just... That's just not right. Now on the ground, yes, counters are fine since you can grab the opponent, there's a counter to it. <laughs> but in the air, you're defenseless, unless you have an aerial grab. So if you're off stage and you have the misfortune of having a recovery that deals damage on its way up, you're gonna get countered and most likely die. This is just... This is just dirty. It doesn't make me feel proud or accomplished. Marth? Murph. I didn't have a joke for this one. So let's try this shit out. 
Okay, so, ooh, we got the stick flicking sounds. That's a nice reference to any Smash tryhard. His moveset is basically the same. It feels nice and just a tiny bit quicker. Okay, oh, uh, that's, uh, that's new. And a significant buff. What does this, the neutral A do? He, he just... Oh, is that a grab? All right, let's try this. Okay, so that's a grab. I get it now. But wait, the grab from which game? Wait, what? How long are we talking here? Oh, it's melee long. And I'm not talking about that kind of melee. That's, that's his taunt. Let's just throw it in the test drive, see how it goes. This is just... Oh, couldn't have said it any better. They can't even last 15 seconds! What is this? Just gonna tell you guys right now, these are the best plays I've made as Marth. Also, every time you win, they put the Marth winning theme from Melee, but it's ear rape mode. It's really fun to hear that. Oh my god. They have Big Yoshi in this game. There's no going back. S Smash is trashed now. I know I said Marth ain't fun, but this is fun. For those wondering, this game is called Rivals of Ether. It's a really fun game to play and it's super cheap. The workshop branch is what I used to get those crazy characters. It's super fun to see what everyone makes. This isn't sponsored, I could only wish. But if you want another game like Smash, this is the game I recommend. Also, it's coming to Switch at some point. So I've gone on and on about their moveset, but what is the difference between these two characters? I can hear you not ask. Well, Marth and Lucina have the exact same moveset. There are no changes whatsoever. But one has a gimmick, while the other doesn't. Also, one is a Tiki and Cordelia alt and the other does not. Basically, to answer your question, play Lucina. But if you know your spacing, play Marth. But mostly play as Lucina, because who cares about this weeb looking ass? It's all about the titties! I'm sure they were there, though. I'm kidding. There you go, look. Lucina is a great waifu. You can calm yourself now. The gimmick Marth has is what's called a tipper, where you basically deal more damage and send the opponent further if you hit them with the sword's point. Think of it as like every time you hit that tipper, you get a suck on your dick, you know? Or just a finger in your ass, whichever one you're into. So every tipper landed, you get a win in-game and in real life. The problem being, this is a thing you put in your head, therefore it ain't real, but it sure helps landing those tippers. As a Marth player, it can sometimes be extremely difficult to get damage. Like I said earlier, you want to make sure you're in range to hit your attacks, because if you don't hit it, you'll be left open. But if you're way too much in range, you won't get the most damage. It's a really high risk yet really high reward mechanic. That is pretty slick. I will now demonstrate some gameplay with commentary from a Marth main. Oh! As for Lucina, she doesn't have that. She deals the same amount of damage regardless of which part of the sword you use. That way you don't have to worry about that quote unquote annoying gimmick. So whether you like one or the other, that's on you really. But based on what I saw, Lucina's the better option. Oh but wait, they just buffed Marth when I was making the script. They made his tipper easier to land. Oopsie! So as I was saying, Marth is the better option. He has better damage. But, that's not the case for every single move, weirdly enough. The changes can sometimes be very minor or huge. So let's look at some examples. Marth's back air deals 9%, normally, while Lucina's deals 11.9. And with Marth's tipper, guess how much? It deals 12.5%. So you're missing on 0.6% of damage. It's nothing. Marth's regular up air deals 9.5%, Lucina's deals 11.4%, and Marth's maximum damage can be 
and this is good. It feels like an actual middle ground. So, you see what I mean? This shit's weird. I know I used two examples, but look at the differences on the Smash Wiki and judge for yourself. Marth is every waitress's favorite customer. Cause he gives many tips. <laughs> Lucina is basically better if you make occasional mistakes for spacing and you don't like gimmicks. If you're starting out and want to main this character, then pick up Lucina first. But if you know what you're doing, take a pro like me for example, play Marth. He's technically speaking the better option. I mean, you deal more damage and have greater knockback from a safer distance? Fuck yeah, I'm picking Marth if I want to win. There's no arguing here. You guys, I just became a Marth main and I uh, think I may have landed one too many tippers. So this would be the segment where I talk about the moves I'd like to change and all that. But uh, I don't know. There's not much they can do. Fire Emblem has like two, maybe three forms of attack. So there's not much they can use to reference stuff. They only do things based on the weapon and the personality of the character. So I'd keep them the way they are. But I'm gonna go ham on these two for their videos. But I get it. You know? Lucina was disguised as Mar, therefore making her an echo makes sense. Is what an ignorant would say. The video will be linked up in the corner when it's ready, or at the end. Just like the subscribe button, so hit that shit. I will get to you next time, just you wait, you dirty son of a bitch. I'm kinda done with the whole video now, but we got some time to, uh, talk about waifus instead? Did someone say waifu? Oh shit! Let me tell you why out of the whole Smash cast, this girl's the best. Sure, she's lacking in a few areas, but she's got a big ol' heart. Went back in time to stop the worst from happening. If your lovers and some stupid shit happens, she gonna be like, I'm going back in time and I ain't having none of that shit. So yeah, she's the best, and I don't wanna hear people saying she's flat-chested, cause like her, now that I'm from Persona 4, also uses bandages, and I'm a fucking loser if I- Well, thanks for all that. Yes! Alright buddy, you, you can calm down now. That's basically it when it comes to those two characters. I was asked when I tried them a few years ago, but ever since I played them to make this video, I've improved a lot. But it's still not gonna change the fact that I'm not a huge fan of their playstyle. If you're like me, I don't think you're gonna play them for fun. Not saying they aren't fun, but they don't satisfy me, personally. Their moveset feels too... basic for me. I can't toy with my opponent, unlike some of my most played characters. I feel as though you want to pick them up because... Let's say you're going to a tournament and really want some of that sweet, sweet money. So um, you gotta win. Since they have everything a top tier character needs, it's a no-brainer to choose them over the majority of the roster. The good damage, the punishments, and especially the edge guarding. So yeah, it doesn't satisfy my sweet tooth. This character to me is for those who are trying too hard to win. And if you ain't like that, congrats. And you know, now that I think about it, I should also be proud of myself for not making any penis jokes. This whole tipper thing was just asking for it. And for some reason, I didn't make any of them. So way to go me. We did it everybody. Good job. Hey yo, um, you, you still here? Yeah. You wanna... You wanna touch tips, bro? As homies, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, if it if it's just as homies, I mean, I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. Next episode is Simon, um, see y'all in the next video, subscribe, check the links in the description below for me and Justin, and as always, please, take care.